I'm Mark Bell, the inventor of the slingshot. I invented the slingshot years ago because I was running into many injuries as a competitive power lifter. I successfully bench pressed 854 pounds in a bench shirt in competition and also I'm credited with a 556 bench press uh, raw in a competition as well. The slingshot will allow you to handle more weight to allow you to do more reps and more sets in your training. Jesse's going to explain how to wear the slingshot. So we're going to have a mic go ahead and pull it up. You're going to usually take it here. What you're going to do is pull it up over your elbows. So what we're looking for here for some of the longer athletes is we want to make sure that this, the, the edge of the slingshot here, the bottom of the slingshot is going to be up past here. We don't want it hanging down in this range because then you have all of this slack hanging out. So you want to make sure you're pulling it up onto the bicep. So the top of the slingshot almost is making contact with the chest. With the longer athletes, it's going to be very hard to really give you an exact spot to put it. But make sure the top of the top of the slingshot is going to, as he's benching, is going to be in contact with the chest. What we want to think about for longer athletes is we got to think about the whole lever arm. So we're thinking about the shoulder, we're thinking about this elbow, and we're thinking about the wrist here. With the slingshot on, it's going to take care of a lot of the elbow, elbow placement. It's also going to take pressure off the shoulder when it's the most exposed. We have some wrist wraps here. It's going to take care of the, um, the wrists as well. So now we have the athlete fully covered from you know short to long part of the lever, which is really going to help make sure that this whole area here in the shoulder is going to be taken care of. And for someone who's long, any shoulder issue really translates down and can um, affect not only elbow health, but go get into wrist health as well. So what we're going to have Mike do is going to show you how to um, bench, but just in general, we're going to be looking for if we can kind of create an angle, this being 90 degrees, we're going to want his elbow at about 45 degree angle. That's going to get the most stretch out of here, put the pressure on um, equally di divided into the musculature that we want and not too much pressure on one spot. Also alleviate a lot of pain in kind of the shoulder joint in this area. Remember, if you're an athlete, you cannot afford to be injured. You can't afford to get hurt in the gym. So I always say protect yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay, Silent Mike here is set up on the bench press. He's going to show you proper setup for the bench press. He's going to put his feet down. He's going to roll his shoulder blades back and down. He's got his shoulder blades retracted. And he's got the slingshot stretched out across his body here. When you have the slingshot on, you're going to be able to handle more weight for more reps and more sets. And so you're going to want to have some wrist wraps on to protect your wrists as well. Uh, what you don't want is you don't want to see the athlete's elbows caved in like this. Make sure they're pushed outward. Again, make sure the elbows are somewhat exposed, especially for the taller athletes. What I'm going to have him do is pause on his chest, and one great attribute of the slingshot is it allows you to lower the weight faster. So Mike's going to lower the weight down quick, but pause it and perform five reps. So there's a million ways that you can use uh, the slingshot uh, for, your, for your athletes. What we recommend is um, for an, any in-season athlete to work up to about 50 to 60% of what you can handle very well raw or a 5 or a 6 out of 10 on a scale. And then what we like to have people like to have our athletes do is go ahead and put this on. What that's going to do is it's going to limit any sort of chance of injury. It's going to take away any sort of stress on our shoulder and allow us to make sure that even if we are banged up from just normal wear and tear, that this is going to go ahead and take the grunt off of, uh, off of our shoulders, off of our elbows, and allow us to go ahead and get the work in that we need to do to make ourselves successful in any endeavor that you go ahead and have. So we're going to have Mike go ahead and take, take the bar out again. Notice as he brings it out, he's loading into his lats, he's going to let the slingshot disperse over his body, he's going to bring it down, elbows are at a 45 degree angle, and he drives the bar back up. Okay, complete a couple more repetitions here. Notice that he's in great position here, 45 degree angle. Everything's popping right off his chest. There's no question that he's going to make all of his repetitions and make this a very successful workout.